So we're going to have a look at adding on an empty number line today. And I've got two uh, different calculations that we're going to look at using different ways of adding. So you need to have a look at your two numbers and decide which one is the biggest. You're going to draw your empty number line and put your biggest number at the front of the number line. You're then going to look at your smaller number and partition that into tens and ones. So when we partition 23, we partition it into 20 and 3. You're then going to add your ones first, so 34, so we jump and add 3, and we know that that is 37. Once we've done that, we can cross that out so that we, don't, we know that we don't have to do it again. Then you add your 20. You can do that in two jumps of 10, or you can do it in one jump of 20. I'm going to do it in two jumps of 10, so that's plus 10, which is 47, plus another 10, which is 57. And that's it. Then, looking at this one, this one is slightly different because when you're adding here, you're going to be bridging tens, and I'm going to show you how we do that. Again, you draw your empty number line, put your bigger number, which is 49, at the front of the number line, and partition your smaller number, which is 28, into 20 and 8. So, you are going to add your ones first, but what we need to remember when we're bridging a 10, because it's going to go over the threshold of 50, is we're going to split the 8 into two parts so that we can do that mentally. So, to get to 50, we're going to add 1, and then we're going to add what's left of the 8. So if you've, we've already added 1, we need to add another 7, so we can do that mentally, and that's 57. Then we're going to add on the 20, and I'm going to do that all in one go, and that will take us to 77.